when female moths want to mate, they release pheromones. Males are unable to resist these pheromones and always follow the smell to the source. These same pheromones can be impregnated into a lure and used to capture male moths. A reduction of male moths leads to a reduction of fertile eggs. This of course leads to a reduction of caterpillars and thus damage to your crop. From the outside, pheromone lures all look the same. It is impossible to see what the amount of active ingredient is inside the lure. Most available pheromone lures contain only 0.5 mg of active ingredients. Two track from Kenya Biologics contains 0.8 mg. So make sure you buy two track lures. For trapping of Tuta absoluta, a farmer can either use a delta trap or a homemade water trap. Fold the trap such that the hangers are facing outwards. Place the inserts into the notches. Remove the cover sheet from the sticky paper. Insert the sticky paper into the trap. Make sure the sticky surface is facing upwards. Open the lure holder and place the lure holder in the trap. Open the two track sachet and put the lure directly into the lure holder. Close the lure holder. Insert into the ground a strong stick to hold your trap. Thread a string through the hangers and make a knot. Hang the trap in the crop, but never higher than 40 centimeters from the ground. Check the trap at least twice a week. Replace the sticky paper if saturated. After eight weeks, replace the old lure with a new two-track lure. Make two tiny holes opposite each other at the rim of a basin that is about 40 centimeters in diameter. Insert one end of the wire through one hole. Then attach the lure holder to the wire. Insert the other end of the wire to the opposite hole. Firmly attach the ends of the wire to the rim of the basin. Make sure the lure holder is in the middle and raised. Fill the trap with water up to two thirds. Add soap 
to break the surface tension. This will ensure the moths cannot escape. Open the lure holder. Open the two track sachet and put the lure directly into the lure holder. Close the lure holder. Place the trap in the crop. Check the traps at least twice a week to make sure that the water level is still at two thirds. Add water if necessary. After eight weeks, replace the old lure with a new two track lure. Place 10 traps per acre to reduce the amount of tuta absoluta in the field. Make sure to spread them evenly throughout the field. You should start trapping already in the nursery and stop trapping two weeks after harvest. This will reduce the amount of tuta absoluta for your next planting. 